Two quick questions. Yes. And then you, then. Sorry. Sorry. I wanted, uh, thank you very much. Um, this prospect of national identity, I wonder how you see it going forward. Because yesterday, the foreign minister was saying, look, you know, why don't you write the people who produce culture cannot endorse by their myth making the end of the nation rather than constantly keep criticizing the government? And there were some issues that, uh, because you see, it seems to me that some of the issues you brought up was quite well, taken. Is the in between state, you know, like these nations that we have, the so called tribes, that, you know, they managed to run their affairs very well, you know, for the Nigerian nation, the Kenyan nation, the Ghanaian <laughs> nation, this imposition kind of from above, but somehow everybody needs to belong. So, you know, I think what was wonderful about the marriage is just this sense of the ceremony of chemistry being built from ground up. You know, you went to the Afro, you know, Kibo, something nice was happening, but then the crash came. Mm -hmm. you know, just, it seems to me that I don't know what any solution, if you see it this way, that the, the states to just, the you know, humanitarian state, they can keep the economy running and give us time to build up this more juicy stuff that uh, we can create from below. You know, but it doesn't seem to be working, and I'm not sure what the foreign minister really believes that we can endorse this idea of something. So, you know, how many, how many French are older than France? How many English are older than England? But in Africa, you got people who are actually older than their own states. In this, in a continent where elderhood has sunk into places of respect, so it's, there has been a lot. You know, so, it's also, I thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, concept, mm. but we constantly have to deal with politicians, whether it's politicians in civics or those we call militaricians, the military in politics, and they very much dominate our existence even up till now. Um, I'm hoping that uh, this man, whom I consider a reasonable man, uh, Yaradwa, uh, will recognize that this is an opportunity for him. Um, that he, he, he really stands a chance to build a nation. There are things, specific things he can do, uh, which will lead to a, a new beginning, a new sense of nation being. It is possible. And of course, he will have the collaboration of writers, you know, uh, as well as, uh, um, you know, myth makers in the creation of that elusive entity. I refer to Nigeria very often as a nation space. You call me patriotic. I'm not really a patriot, you know. I don't, I don't have that sense of, uh, of patriotism, you know. I, I, I believe in human beings. Mm -hmm. and, and I believe that the human community transcends, you know, as one recognizes it, that issue of identity, what you identify with, that it, it, it transcends national boundaries, especially boundaries which are so artificial, mm -hmm. which were imposed on peoples, not in their own interest, but as productive uh, entities to service the industrial requirements of imperialist nations. And then we cling to those boundaries and we kill one another over those boundaries. It has never made sense to me. So I'm not a patriot in that sense at all. I'm not a patriot in that sense. But I believe very much in the human community. And the human community, you're right, is the creation of poets, of myth makers, of uh, artists, culture, uh, culturally minded people. Madweke's uh, visit yesterday for me, by the way, let me complain here. It's, it's a pity. I, I hope somebody pointed it out yesterday. It's a pity he was invited to this thing. Madweke is one of those who destroyed. I told, I met him downstairs. I came out, and I said, "You, I have." I have things to say to you. I say, ah, ah please, well, anytime you're ready, I'm your people. I mean, mm, you're not my people at all. Uh, they say, well, I say, you've been piped certain things which I've never taught anybody. I say, well, at least you can help me to unlearn those things. We were having this banter downstairs, but it goes beyond the banter. He, a uh, banter, he and his political party destroyed democracy in Nigeria. They have totally degraded the concept of community that we are talking about because of this hegemonic concept, hegemonic concept in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So I was very sad to see his name uh, on this list. And of course, I wasn't going to stay around to listen to it. Uh, Professor Zonia, you have some, something yeah. to introduce? Thank you very much. Um, well, thank you very much, uh, Wally, and uh, I'll skip for uh, yeah, this. Uh, <laughs>